Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part three of my 100% walkthrough for Little Nightmares 2. So we're in chapter three now, so this is the very start of the chapter here. I'm just going to talk over this bit while we're not actually doing much. Uh, like always, there's going to be timestamps in the description for all of the glitching remains, for all of the hats, or both hats, and then all of the trophies that we'll get for this part as well. Um, so if you don't want to watch the full thing, you can just go down there, look for the trophies you're after, uh, click on it and away you go, or whichever glitching r remains you are missing. Uh, there are going to be a lot of miscellaneous trophies in this one. There are eight miscellaneous ones, uh, so just ones that are pertinent to this chapter only. Uh, we're also going to be getting the one for getting half of the hats in the game, and then there's the story one at the end. So ten trophies in total with this chapter. Uh, if you are following from the very start, then you know what we're doing here. If not, this is a 100% walkthrough from start to finish. If you follow the full series, five videos, you will get the Platinum or the 100% Achievement. Or, like I said, you can just use timestamps and pick up whatever you are missing. So there are four glitching remains in this place, and just two. This is, by far and away, the creepiest part of the game. You'll see why. Uh, later, the uncan uncanny valley is exploited to the highest degree here. You've got some scary looking stuff coming up. Uh, prosthetic limbs and things like that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to speak throughout this whole episode here. I'm just going to jump in here and there and tell you when there's important stuff coming up. Uh, apart from that, you can just watch along or jump to whatever you need. You've probably already done that, so you can't hear this anyway. I'm not going to leave you in peace just yet. We are nearly at a... Uh, a glitching remain here, so I'll just hang around for a moment. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. <laughs> uh, no, we're almost here. So when you get through here, we're going to get the uh, the torch, which is excellent because it's uh, it's your weapon, I would say, for this area uh, to a degree. It definitely, uh, let's say, it's more of your shield rather than an attacking weapon. Um, you flash it towards the enemies, and it stops them in their tracks. So it's going to come in handy later on. Uh, there is kind of little mini boss fights in this one as well, like similar to the children, you will be hitting things with pipes. Um, so here we go, so once you have the torch, go into the next room, go, go through the door there, uh, look for this big ward, and uh, run right to the back of it, and look for this toy uh, cart, whatever they're called, and there you can see him, just his shadow there. Obviously walk straight into him, and there you go. So next is a trophy coming up soon, I'll jump back in then. Well, that wasn't very long, was it? <laughs> I'm back. Right, here, hunger trophy. Uh, very simple one. Uh, basically, empty this vending machine. So jump up and grab. You you do need to do this. You do need to get one can out of this vending machine to hit the switch in a moment. Uh, so, yeah, do it three, I think it's five times. And then when you jump up for the sixth, it's empty. Uh, and that's when you get the trophy. So if you jump up again, there you go. Nothing comes out, and you'll get the hunger trophy. So very simple one there. And then just pick up one of the cans. Throw it at this... Um, switch here and then you're going to go into the room with the, one of those TV moments again, uh, you can see it yeah there it is, the TV, so just do the normal thing where you use the left stick to uh, to move the corridor so it's straight uh, and then you get through that part
Okay, got a couple few trophies coming up here. We're just going to do this one quickly, which is X Best Friends. So this is an X-ray machine here. Uh, you can use it to find the key. You can see on the wall there, there's a teddy bear with a key in it. That's essentially what you're looking for. But if you turn on the X-ray machine, walk behind it and hold Six's hand, then you will get X Best Friends there. So that's a nice quick one. And then you need to look for the teddy um, for the key. But before that, we're going to jump up the top of this dresser here. Uh, and grab the teddy head hat which we do need for the next trophy so grab that and put it straight on if you've been following along from the start you should also get the half hat trophy at this point we have half of the hat in the game that kind of makes sense doesn't it so yeah there, again there are two that we don't need the one with the sort of twigs poking out the top uh, and the pointy gnome hat we don't need those two they are dlc ones so we are halfway through um yeah so put that head on the teddy bear head and then pick up the kind of rabbit looking thing um, on the right hand side this is the one with the key in it you saw me just throw it then if you do kind of throw it around a bit you'll hear it jingle it's with the key inside of it you can also use the x-ray machine and it will show you that it does have a key inside of it so what we're doing now is taking it down and putting it into the furnace but we're gonna get the toys are for kids trophy so that is for putting this teddy into the furnace while wearing this specific hat very simple one so we will be back to this uh, this furnace as well so you do need to do this anyway we need the key that's inside the teddy bear but make sure you're wearing the teddy bear head uh, yeah so there we go <laughs> poor things he doesn't even know what's coming yeah and then jump up so weirdly six will carry that thing around uh, if you turn on the x-ray machine when she's around carrying something she'll stand behind it and show you that they're kind of dangerous uh, the the toys they have things inside of them but it's actually the key that you're after and there you go that's the trophy um, for that one so I'll be back shortly for the next glitching remain That wasn't very long either. Right, glitching remain. So once you've gone through the key door, carry on, and then you just be in this corridor here, run to the very back, and you are going to find another glitching remain. Just there, trying to get some prosthetic limbs <laughs> for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Next, we've got st and stay dead trophy. Uh, this is where things get a little bit creepy. Pretty terrifying. I hope you're not scared of spiders or... What was it? Adam's family? I think it was from the Adam's family, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, so I'll come back when the sort of boss fight element of this starts, and that's when we're going to get the Stay and Stay Dead trophy. Right, now it's time to actually kill this terrifying looking thing. Uh, so pick this hammer up uh, and we're going to want to hit it. So you need to do this, you need to kill it anyway. So these are a bit weird. They jump twice. If you walk towards the hands, uh, they'll jump back twice. 
but you do need to swing. So if you walk towards it the first time, it'll jump back. Uh, you do need to swing the second time to get it to jump back again. And then you need to hit it quickly for the third, the, the second time before it rears up and tries to grab you. So yeah, it, it, you, if you walk towards it the second time and try and force the jump, it won't, it'll just grab you. And then once you've hit it three times, keep hitting it another three times, so that's six in total, and you'll get the and stay dead trophy. This is the most obvious trophy in the world. I think everybody that will play this game will keep hitting that, um, that hand anyway, because <laughs> they want it to stay dead. I don't think you, that must be the most obvious trophy I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, I think most people will get that. 100% of people who play this game will get that trophy without even trying. Because that thing is horrible. Anyway, we've got the popcorn trophy coming up shortly. So I'll jump back in a moment. Right, now that we've opened this door here, you can see that just there there is some... No, I've kicked it behind the wheelchair. Uh, there's some corn here. Uh, this is the popcorn trophy. I'm sure you can put two and two together here and figure out what we're doing. So pick up the corn, go back down to the incinerator, put it in the incinerator, turn it on, turn it into popcorn. As simple as that. Uh, I'll just hang around for anyone that is using kind of timestamps here. Um, so go down here. So go back down the lift here, uh, and we'll go back down to the incinerator. And then we'll pop the corn in, <laughs> and get some popcorn out. Yeah, it might sort of, yeah, if it does that, sort of make sure you jump in, uh, grab it again, and make sure you throw it all the way in, so it uh, actually counts. And then just jump up, hit the switch, you can see it popcorn you can hear it going off and then you actually need to jump inside you won't get the trophy straight away so make sure you jump inside and there you'll get popcorn right back shortly And you thought things were getting tense with those hands. <laughs> these things are terrifying, these dummies. So this first part here, I'm just going to, there's no trophy here or anything. I'm just going to walk you through this. Uh, this fir first part here, run. You can run past, so keep running, run, 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 run. And slide under the bed and the first two will stop. 
for this next part you want to shine your torch on them so once you can see it there it will stop it moving uh, stop it moving there and you need to be aware of which ones are going to come after you uh, and when you've sort of stopped them you get a, a little reprieve from each one uh, you need to get used to doing that because there is a room with a lot of them in later in on and you'll need to switch back and forth to make sure you stop them from chasing you uh, yeah <laughs> it's horrible <laughs> so yeah anyway next trophy coming up so jump through this vent uh, we're going to drop down and we're going to throw some cheese in a hole I have no idea what it's about but anyway here's the cheese uh, nope there we go, you just see it there, so make sure you grab this cheese. This next bit is dark, but obviously I'm here. I'll hold your hand, I'll explain what we're doing. Go out to this corridor, and behind the door you can see that this uh, it's broken, so go round. And there is a door in front of me, well, to the left of me here. You just see it here, there's a door. You'll be going round that, and into the room. And you're going to see a hole with a glitching remain sat in front of it. So the trophy is obviously throw that cheese in well it's not obvious at all but throw the cheese in the hole and then obviously walk into the glitching remain there and uh, absorb him so next is going to be the final glitching remain not just yet a while yet uh, and you'll obviously get the sick kids trophy because that is the final glitching remain for this chapter So once you're safe again, kind of, you'll be in the shower room. Uh, if you hit this switch here, that'll turn the lights on. Uh, we do actually want them off, uh, but for the sake of showing you what we're doing here, I will turn them on. Uh, we'll go back to the back here, move this crate out of the way. Uh, you can see there's a vent hole there. So if you go through, you're going to find glitching remain number four, uh, which will give you the sick kids trophy. There he is. This, I don't know. Yeah, that's quite fitting. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that is. Let's just leave. There you go, sick kids. So next trophy coming up is Medicine Ball. Uh, I'll just kind of stick around here because it is a bit dark. I'll kind of explain what we're doing here. So you can leave this on if you want to hit the switch with that on. But we're going to hit some soap. Uh, pick up this soap here and hit a switch with it. You can just kind of see there's a switch on the wall here. Uh, and I'm going to pick this soap up here and throw it at the switch. So if you do, it might be better to leave the... Uh, the lights on but you'll see the little kid kind of raise his arms up as you're in uh, throwing distance of the switch so if you stand forward and throw you'll hit the switch it'll open up the reason we need the light off is because when we go into this next room we want this uh, this dummy here to follow us so shine your light on it to, to stop it because you don't want it to follow you in right away and then run and hit this switch to freeze it in place and there we go uh, and then you're just going to push its wheelchair that it was sat on uh, to get out of the room. So this is probably the most difficult room part of the game. There are a lot of these mannequins in here. Uh, and you need to manage them by moving the lights around. So you do get a slight pause when you... You're going to have to move around a lot. Um, a slight pause, so just be aware there are lots of them. As soon as you see one start to move, shine your light on it and hope you don't get picked up. Hopefully you can get through there pretty quickly, uh, pretty easily. Uh, but obviously it doesn't matter if they do grab you, just try it again. Uh, and then once you're through there, we're just going to get the medicine ball trophy. Nice and simple, pick up the medicine ball and throw it to the hands not like that <laughs> maybe move a bit closer he didn't catch it never mind so you'll see him yeah they raise his hands up a bit his arms up a bit there you go medicine ball they don't want it they want you so they'll throw it back next is going to be the hats uh number the second hat should i say 
bandage, which is a while off yet, so I will jump back in when we get to that. I'm just back briefly for this. This is another tricky-ish section. Um, it's another kind of boss fight as far as boss fights go within this game. Uh, two hands at once. Yes. So you can see Six is holding that second one off for a minute. One's going to come out and it's your job to take care of it. So same again. Walk towards it to force that first jump back. And then swing to force the second jump and then straight away line up and swing for the second hit. Uh, once you've hit it twice, it's going to disappear and she's going to drop the, the door. Uh, try and find the one that you've already hit twice straight away. So it should come from the same sort of direction it ran off last time. And hit it to kill it so you're not facing off at two at once. Uh, I, got I got lucky and six kind of got it stuck so I was able to hit it quite easily and quickly there. Uh, but yeah, try and make sure you hit the one that already has the damage on it, otherwise you'll, you'll have to. Uh, they're not too bad, you can walk round them uh, and they will jump past you, they don't track you as you walk round them. So once both of them are dead, quickly uh, run, I say dead, <laughs> they're, not, they're not alive to start with. Uh, run back uh, and we're going to be seeing the sort of NPC for this area, the, the human kind of and it's Peter Griffin. <laughs> That's the closest thing I can relate it to anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'll be back when the, the bandage hat is coming up. So uh, this is a very easy stealth section, as long as you're just patient with this guy. He's just gonna crawl around on the ceilings looking for his uh, whatever he's looking for. Um, yeah, just be patient. It's very, very easy, this stealth, stealth section.
Okay, the hat's coming up in this morgue section here, so you do need to pull this tray out here, and then six is going to push you through. You need to go into this next room anyway. Uh, this is where the key is. So when you get pushed through, run straight for this closed door at the bottom here next to the sink. Open that up, and you're going to find the bandage head. That is everything for this, uh, this chapter with regards to collectibles. Uh, all of that is done. One more trophy, well, two more trophies. One more uh, miscellaneous one, which is first do no harm. And then there's going to be the hospital hospitalized trophy, which is the chapter trophy. That's a story-related one. So I'm putting the bandage head on just because changing it up. No reason for you to do that. Don't worry, it's not for a trophy or anything. So yeah, just get the key, pull these trays out, climb up, get the key, leave. Uh, do the chase sequence and I'll be back just before the first do no harm trophy comes up which is at the end of the chase sequence with the big guy so yeah I'll see you then
Okay, you've made it through. So next, we are going to do the first Do No Harm trophy. Uh, so you do need to go in here. You need to go into this furnace. You need to drop down, and you need to get back out and trap him in here. So run to this side uh, and pull the bars off. Or push, I think you actually push them, you don't pull them. And um, trap him inside. Now, as tempting as it may be, and hilarious if you do, don't turn the furnace on. I don't say it's hilarious because <laughs> you're going to burn a guy alive. That's not why I'm saying it's funny. Um, six will... It's kind of... I would tempted to make a save and actually watch it if you haven't done already. Uh, you turn it on and Six will sit there warming her hands on the burning corpse of that guy. But we want to get a trophy, so leave him. Just leave. Do first no harm. Basically means don't kill him. Uh, leaving him to die is more horrible. <laughs> Apparently, that's what the description of the trophy is. So yeah, you'll get first do no harm, and then straight away you'll get hospitalized, which is the end of chapter trophy, and that is the end of chapter three. So on to chapter four next. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.